my name is Don O'Bannon, and I am a uh, artist. Do oil on canvas primarily. Really professionally, in an attempt to sell pieces for about ten years, but I painted and drawn all of my life. Uh, this is actually uh, part time. I'm trying to make the transition to uh, full time. I'm a lawyer with uh, a practice that focuses on government contracting, so I primarily deal with business disputes, government contracting, do some family law. I'm retired or retiring, hopefully, and uh, as I stop taking cases, it's allowing me more time to do my art. But I have a portfolio of cases I'm trying to wrap up. Uh, Dallas is where I live. Uh, grew up on a military bases. My father was military, so I kind of grew up all over. And uh, he moved to Dallas at one point, and that's where I grew up. Thought I was going to be an artist. Yes, I was. Uh, I, I, I just love. Have always loved art. Always loved art. I don't know how creative I was, but I was definitely expressive. You know. Oh, I met Frank almost immediately when I first started showing. And I had a booth at the Regional Delta Conference. And Frank saw my work. Uh, I guess he felt sorry for me. Told me to give him a call, which I did. And we've been uh, uh, fast friends ever since. I mean, he's really been um, a great inspiration. He only recently told me after 10 years that he actually liked my work, so uh, I must be doing something right. <laughs> uh, this series was inspired by the New Orleans Jazz Festival. I was uh, accepted uh, to show at the Jazz Festival, and I decided to take the, just the basic Mardi Gras colors and create pieces out of those colors. And this is what I came up with in terms of using those colors for that, uh, for that, for that show. And actually, I mean, like in most things in art, I just kind of fell into something that actually works. Uh, I was surprised by how they came out and just very pleased with uh, the way they popped. Uh, my favorite piece is always the last one I finished, but I think of all of my pieces now, I, I mean, I, I, I like, I like this one. That's, that's actually one of my favorite pieces. And, I mean, part of it is, is just because it appears so calm. I like pieces that are, that are calm. And that is both expressive and calm at the same time. This piece is called uh, Louisiana Due Process. And I did a series. I did Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, and Alabama. And what this is, is inspired by the lynching museum in Montgomery. You know, they have the, the actual statues uh, hanging of, with the names of the lynch victims in this memorial. And I wanted to find a way to bring that, the power of that museum and the volume, the sheer magnitude of the, the lynchings to life on a, 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 a two-dimensional surface. And what I came up with was basically doing an individual state and then showing the number of lynchings in that state. And so, uh, you know, these are the lynchings in Louisiana between 1880 and 1940. And the total number of lynchings is 344. And I did this really during the time of George Floyd and before with Trayvon Martin in that in that time period and I put a, a red figure at, at the end to show that the problem with what I call the extrajudicial killing or 
you know, non duperous killing of African Americans continues to be an issue, and this red shows that it didn't stop, but it continues to be a problem. And this, it's, it's done against the backdrop of the Bill of Rights. And I have, since I have a legal background, obviously the uh, process, right to a jury trial, are all guaranteed by the uh, Bill of Rights in our Constitution. And that's why I call this Louisiana process. Well, you know, hopefully I'll be able to uh, continue doing this. Uh, you know, we're all trying to chart our own path in terms of, you know, what works for us. Uh, I'm not a big fan of trying to sell art. I'm, I just like to do it. Uh, if I could find a way that my art could sell and I could just kind of stay home and continue to paint and uh, work on the skills uh, needed to improve my art, I would prefer to do that, but for now, I uh, will try to pick shows that I hope will exhibit my art, create a following, and allow me to uh, sell my pieces, my babies. You know, I just like my work to uh, speak to people. I mean, I, it, it's, it talks to me, you know, I mean, you would say that I'm psychologically impaired because the pieces, I hear them, you know, I mean, they actually, in my brain, they speak to me. And I'd like for that same voice to be heard by people who acquire my pieces, that <clears throat> they speak to them. Vibrancy, life, you know, love, all of those things, pride in being African American, all of those things, uh, knowledge of our history, just, you know, just speaks to you in a subtle, but firm and effective way.